we're gonna bring on st what's up man what's up man? what's up guys how you doing up, man oh, good man you, you good man but, yeah, <laughs> yeah you look wait, real but... relaxed in the background baby <laughs> oh, yeah yeah <laughs> I like that a lot of bit. um photography uh that we do and everything yeah so that's dope that's dope man. how you feeling bro you do that yourself yeah, some of it. Me and my girlfriend, like, we're both photographers, so... That's awesome, yeah, man. That's some nice work. Shit, bro. Cheers. <laughs> 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 no, um, anyway, I've been waiting to um, get on, because it's about... It's real late here over in London. Oh, you're in London? Oh, are you in oh, London? Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you got to say hi to Elmo, bro. though, man. <laughs> Elmo, what's up, cousin? <laughs> Whoa, hey, what the hell made you a Jet fan in London? Dude, I'm from New York. Okay. I've just lived here for the past 15 years of my life. Um, so New York is home, but this is this is where this is where I live now. So this I is home. That. That's yeah. cool, bro. That's cool shit, bro. And I, I invited you guys to come out last year when they were here and we lost the uh, Falcons. That's the oh. New York. <laughs> Glad we went there, that, <laughs> that game. <laughs> no, nah, but um, I had a couple of points. I mean, everybody's having, um, you know, they're running at Zach. And I'm with that. But... I don't even want to talk about that. I want to talk about, you know, what came out of his mouth rather than his play. Like that didn't sit, that interview didn't sit well with me. I thought it was real garbage. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it wasn't cool. It's like, you know, everybody wants to joke around like during the off season, you know, with his mom's friend and all that. Yeah. Oh, you got that dog in him. But it's like kindergarten's over. Like this yeah. defense, I want to take you guys back to like 2009 when the Jets, when we had the, the number one defense in the league. Mm -hmm. Like now we got the number six. And these boys, I always preferred because I was always taught offense wins games, defense wins championships. Yes, I'm real firm, I'm still a firm believer in that. Yes, I know like, you know, we like to talk about it's a quarterback driven league, pass this, quick reads that, go through your progressions, recognize, you know, have the OC scheme people open. But I still think, you know, with Salah, he's unproven. But he's a defensive guy. The guy's yeah. won a Super Bowl with um, the the Hawks, the Seahawks. He know he he's he's had some big personalities, some icons <coughs> on the defensive side of the ball. And I just think he's finally, after two years, and some good drafting by JD. You know, you got a defense that's ready to compete. And for me, and for me, that's 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 huge. So it's like. When Zach is sitting here, not having the big shoulders, and I don't want to bring up the past, but one thing we knew about Sam Donald is that he was built for the New York market. He had big shoulders. And despite his play, despite everyone to talk about, he saw ghosts. Like, the man the man was built for that, for the New York market. Yep. And I think nobody can really contest that with me. Zach, he's all right. But I, I just don't think he's built like that. And he really showed that to me in that stupid interview. And it's like, yep. even even Bart Scott. It, it's had, okay to be had, frustrated, had to but it's almost like he was more arrogant about it. And I'm yeah, like, dude, like, what, what have you accomplished he was a, he was to, to be prick. snippy with Connor Hughes? Like, Yo, yeah. Yep. Like, I don't like, like I don't he like, doesn't I don't, have to justify a second year leap. Like, yeah, that's, well, that's not a question that, I mean, nah, I, 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 I don't, that question I, at all. I don't like playing boring football, bro. That comment right there, bro, really, really threw me the wrong way. And it's like, yo, when well, you're not, listen, we watch Eli Manning, bro, never say nothing, but Eli Manning take responsibility for his team when we know it wasn't his fault. You know what yep. I'm saying? So if we watch it, we're watching this kid do that, bro. So I feel you, SJ, ST. Yo, I definitely feel you on that. And it, 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 listen, I think I think the locker room feels that, bro. Listen, I, to me, I think the team is shifting away from this kid. I, I just feel like. Well, when you, but Tyrone, but wouldn't you, when you're sitting there playing defense, you're absolutely. playing your ass off, you're competing your ass off, and you literally know he was the reason why you lost. Yep. And for him to kind of shut it off, like, well, do you take blame for the loss? Well, not, not really. Like, like, dude, like, yeah. he, like, I'm like, dude, what? Like, you're you got to say. Like you own all of it. Like Sam Darnold always like, the, your your number one job as a quarterback is you own all the responsibility. You just, I lost the game. I gotta be better. I gotta do this. It's always you. Point the finger back at yourself and not at anybody else. And nobody can like that's the way it rolls. If you start def deflecting things, they're like, dude, are you serious? When you point the finger at somebody else, you got four pointing back at yourself. That's to your spot up. Dude, that press conference, like I watched it again, it pissed me off. I'm like, dude, this kid, like and Yo, I get it. You you get caught up in a moment, you can be frustrated, take a deep breath. Point the finger back at yourself. Absolutely. I had to, I had to, you know, like you, I had to watch it like a couple of times and really kind of dissect what this man was saying. 
And like, I, I didn't like that at all. Cause I feel like, I feel like you just got everybody in a groove. You got, you know, remember year one with Salah, you guys were like, you know, we watch games and you're like, you know, this, something bad happened. Something didn't happen right. He had no emotion. He was, he was just sat there. Yep. This man is super, he's dumb animated all the time. Like, yep. yeah. he's, you see, he's more guy. comfortable was, now. He's more yes. comfortable in his role it's now. Himself. Yep. Yo, it's natural. Yeah. There's like, they, they even had, there was like this meme going around. It was like, there's a guy on the touchline, like keeping Sala off the field. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's just, it is, and it's, and you, and you love to see it, right? You love to see it. But like, you, what you don't want to see is like your quarterback who's supposed to be your leader. He's got his little captain badge on his jersey. Like, talk, talk utter bullshit yep. like that. Facts. And, and, you know, I also want to just put in one more thing because I know you guys got people lined up. But it's like, you know, everybody wants to talk about Elijah Moore. Yeah, the kid fucked up. But the kid is a phenomenal talent. And I'm going to take you back to another guy who's quite arrogant but is in our ring of honor. And he wrote a book called give me the damn Damn ball ball. yes sir (laughs) you know what i mean yes sir i think that's kind of like not even what elijah moore should be saying but it's kind of like an unspoken rule and it's up to the coaches to get that man the goddamn ball especially if you got a banged up secondary with the bills and he's clearly you know i won't say he's the best receiver but the man is damn good and he's only year two let this kid ball out I don't give a damn, Zach, like, if, if he's not your primary target and, and you know, conquering it, like, you just got to, you got to go through the progressions. You got to go through your reads. And they got to, they got to scheme them open, run some picks, run some hook routes. But it should be like, but they always say it's like, a, it's a matter of progressions. Go Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, read one, read two. That's it. Like, it, it's, it's not hard to scheme guys open, man. It's not hard to say, look for this, look for this, look for this. But make Tyson, Elijah more part of your your part of your top principles. Tyson, they're Man. doing that though. Tyson, he's just not looking for the open guy. He's missing the open guys. Tyson, and I think that's why Elijah Moore is getting frustrated. It's like these guys are open. Tyson, he's missing. I them. get it. I'm I, just saying. But like, but to the point of like using Elijah Moore more, to, you have to do it. Like, oh yeah, you want to do end arounds. You want to do sweeps. You want to do bubble screens. Like, try different <laughs> ways. If you got to force it, force it. Get the ball. Get the ball in his hands. Absolutely. Like the first couple of games when they were forcing the ball to Elijah Moore, and we or, talked. They were about forcing that. the Garrett Wilson. They're forcing yeah. it to. No, 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 but listen, to me, bro, listen, I think he's more effective in the slot. Like, put him back in the slot, let him work his magic. Him and Gary in the open field together is a fucking problem, man. I'm telling you. Who can, who can guard Davis them? Hurt. Absolutely, man. It doesn't make any sense. So, you know, like, we look back at the six snaps that he played last game, and it's like, damn, I know you want to punish the kid, but you're not helping the team. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you listen, and, and it's all, listen, it can't be personal. It's, it's business. It's not personal. You know what I'm exactly. saying? And that, and your especially coach, and your- Tyrone, you know what? Especially, I was gonna give him the benefit of the doubt if they were gonna trade him today. But you know what? We gave him a yeah. few snaps to prove that he's healthy. Then they trade him today. You you have been active. You barely play him, and then you don't trade him. So basically, yeah. you're just being a stubborn prick on Sunday. That's all you're yeah, being. Absolutely, you're That's being spiteful. You're absolutely, him being inactive should have been the end of the punishment. Like I, I I could have justified him like not getting any snaps or whatever. Like if that's the message that they wanted to send. But like the, him being inactive the week before, that's where it should have ended. Yep. You, you know, made him here's, active. Here's what, you needed him. You didn't have Corey Davis. You that, needed Kevin. him and they didn't use him. And now, now it's going to linger. Yep. Go linger from him. It's just in about that take right there, which you just said, right? Like you're right. But making him, making him inactive, we don't know what goes on behind, you know, we don't know what goes on at Florin Park, right? We don't know what's said. We only know it. We, we it's all speculation. As Tyson right. said in a video a couple of years ago, we don't know shit. <laughs> so <laughs> the whole the whole point is, when if someone's making him an active, was it kind of like, on one hand, listen, kid, clear your head, you're going through it, take some time off, chill, or was it like, that's go go to your room, think about what you've done. You sit in your room and think about what you did, and then right. we'll come out and you can play some more. Yep. So when you so when the next week comes by and you know it's it's Pat's week, the man plays what five, six, seven snaps it's max, six snaps. some shit six like snaps. that. Yeah, crazy. So I I don't even care what the reasoning was. I mean, the, the fact that he was inactive a week ago, that's where it should have ended. He practiced yep. all week and he was active on game day. If he's one yep. of your top two or three receivers and he's a legitimate weapon. Why not use him? So. Yep. Makes sense. No, I'm, I, I agree with you. Get, like I said, get the man the goddamn ball. Yep. <laughs>
Chief. Absolutely. ST, thanks for calling, man. We appreciate ST, it. Great call, bro. Yeah, Prime time. Excellent call, man. Guys, yeah, your respect. Thanks for bringing me on. It's a, I got work tomorrow. It's about one o'clock here, but we, we, we fall back. We fall back before you guys. So I had to, I had to get, <laughs> yo, appreciate you staying bro. up for us, man. Have a great night, yo, man. Great call, man. Right. Great call. Take Prime care, time. guys. You too. Prime time, 5908.